Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing fantastically well. So a few weeks ago, FTMO launched a new platform. It's called the DX Trade. So I thought I'd take a quick look at it and see if it's actually any good, what are the benefits, what are the downsides, and is it actually a good platform to move away from MetaTrader on this particular platform. Now, unfortunately, there is no free demo available, so I had to go and buy another challenge for this one, which is okay because I did get a Black Friday deal. And I've actually been messing about with a few days. Trades have not been great, mainly for my own fault. But the platform was actually initially I thought was actually quite good because it has a web-based interface. Now, a lot of the platforms previously, we look at CTrader or MetaTrader, they're all very predominantly PC-based, but a lot of people do actually have Macs. That's the preferred laptop of choice. And in that instance, you generally have to work on TradingView, look at all the chart setups, and then transfer that into the MetaTrader app on your phone, which in reality is not ideal. It's nice to actually be able to have a platform place the trades, manage the trades, as well as do all the technical analysis on the charts. And from my experience, a lot of web platforms are very good. They have some fantastic interfaces behind them. They have a lot of other facilities you can actually do around the charting. And I was hoping that would be the same case on DX Trade. But the reality of it is the, the charting is not fantastic. It's not as good as on MetaTrader. For me, it always seems to lose a lot of the lines I draw or the settings don't always seem to stay where I want them to be but there are actually some really nice features. Now, what I do like about it is the actual uh, initial dashboard of it. It's actually very nice to see all your open trades. You can actually have some really good watch lists. Now, in other platforms, easy to create trading lists or watch lists. MetaTrade is not quite so easy. You generally just have to filter out what you want and have that in your particular list. He can create individual ones. So you can have an individual watch list for Forex, crypto, uh, stocks, etc. So you can actually really nail down to what you want to look at. So for me, that's a really nice thing. The trading journal, again, is a nice feature. You can actually filter on this by date and see all the trades you've actually placed, as well as putting in tags. You can actually tag them, whether a news trade or uh, impulse trade or whatever you want to do, you can then obviously filter and see how your actual trading performance does per tags. Now, if you were a true trader and actually putting them all into a spreadsheet and actually managing them that way, you could have the same facilities where you can do comments or tags or filtered by color, you can have that same sort of analysis, but it's nice in here. One of the actual benefits I do think of this one is actually creating almost like a tab view where you can have an individual instrument. Now for me, gold is one I've been trading over the past couple of days, so here I've actually got all of the charts set up for gold on different time frames. Now, yes, you can do that in other platforms, but here it's very easy to have your workspace along the top of the actual platform, and you can then just click between gold, whether you want to trade individual Forex pairs or anything else and have them all set up as you want to. So if you go into that particular screen, you can see all the analysis done, all of the actual charts in different time frames, and trade straightly from there. For me, one of the big annoyances of actually the platform is it does actually log you out quite a lot. If you do walk away from your laptop for a number of minutes, the actual screen locks, you then have to log back in, which is not a difficult thing, but it's just annoying. You get so used to MetaTrader as an example, as soon as you unlock the screen, it's there, or you can change the screen so it never locks, it's always there. Here, you're actually always getting logged out of the platform. It's a minor bug bit, I can work around it, but again, it's one of those things that when you have that comparison back to something else, it starts to become more annoying, annoying as you go on. But I think probably the biggest downside to using this particular platform is you have no ability for EAs or other tools. Now, FTMO have been very good in the past of actually creating tools for traders, which you can go in there and look at their mentor traders or some of the actual trade analysis side of things, um, auto charts, etc. where you can actually have that on MetaTrader. Here you cannot have that. It's purely a web-based interface where you log in, you can see your trades, see your charts, place them and walk away. Now I think that for most traders is gonna be the biggest downfall. You can't then run copy trading from other accounts into this one. What we have seen with some of the automated AO programs, we actually have webhooks into platforms and you can do that within TradingView, but again, you can't do it in this particular platform. So unless there's a big development shift and actually have some of the EAs or allow to copy trading into this platform, I think it's gonna be the biggest downside for most traders. And so for me, it's not a platform I wanna use going forward. I will continue up with this challenge, see if I pass or fail, and then again, move back onto MetaTrader where I feel more comfortable, have more tools and the ability to just have a much better trading platform overall. But for definitely if you are a Mac trader, you don't have access to a PC and you wanna get away from other things and place all your trades in one particular platform, then this is the one to choose within FTMO. So I hope you found that quite useful and I'll catch you again soon. Cheers.